If you're coming from another system, bringing forward your information into Reviso has never been easier. You can import your opening balances and your age creditor and age debtor information at the same time or individually should you so wish. First thing you need to check is your accounting years are open or created. So go to settings, all settings, finance and accounting years. So we're going to import the um, balances at the end of 2016 along with any outstanding sales invoices, so debtors and supplier invoices, creditors. If your financial years have not been created, then simply select new accounting year and enter the dates of your financial year and save. Then go to company, import data and you want to select entries. And in order to see how the file needs to be la laid out, you can click on see sample file. This will bring up a sample file so you can see exactly how your information needs to be laid out. So reference number, in here you need to enter the reference number that relates to all entries and you make up that reference number. So this is our first entry so I've entered it as number one and all of these entries relate to the same. If we add them together you'll see that the balance comes to nil. So the debits equal the credits. Next area is the booking date. So we want these booked as December 2016. And they're not customer transactions or supplier. So the nominal code that you're going to charge these to is entered in this column. The text is opening balance and the debit and credit will appear in the amount column here. So that's all the information you have to supply to enter your opening balances to bring those forward onto your chart of accounts. So that needs to be saved as an Excel CSV file. And once you've done that, go back into your Reviso agreement. So entries, select next, select your file. And it will then tell you the number of transactions. So we have one journal entry because it's all linked to the number one. Then you click on next. It will then confirm the file has been imported. So you can close. You can then go to finance. Select the accounting year. We imported them as 2016. You can click on this entry and you will see the journal that's been created. It hasn't been booked yet. So what we're going to do now, we're going to import the creditors totaling 2,680 and also the debtors for 5,400. So we will now go back to our import screen. The next process is to import your outstanding sales invoices and your outstanding supply invoices as at the end of your financial year or whatever part of your financial year you are entering this information into. And uh, this will tie up with the control account opening balances that you've imported in for debtors and creditors. This contains the supplier invoices and the customer invoices and you can also have your opening balances all on one file should you so wish. So I'll just take you through the column. So the reference column, this ties up the two entries for the supplier invoice. So reference number 144 and 144 means that this relates to the same transaction. So the booking date is the date you want to process, book the information into. You then have your invoice date, due date, this is a supplier, so this is the supplier number. Please make sure that your suppliers and your customers have already been imported into the system. Otherwise, you will get an error message to say that uh, your customers and suppliers are not present. Then you want the invoice number, any text and the amount. The next row, we're going to put the supply invoice to the control account because you've already accounted it accounted for the invoice when you processed it on your old system. So you're just looking to have it outstanding on the age debtor or the age creditor report. So you've got something to post to when you pay it or when you're 
been paid in the case of a customer invoice when um, you process this in your new financial year. So for a creditor, it's a minus up here and a positive. So the control account is a minus and then a positive and that way it will cancel it out on the control account because you've already imported your balance with your opening balances. So there's two supplier invoices. Then we have two sales invoices. So the date, 25th of November, that's the booking date. Invoice date is the same and the due date is January 2017. This is the customer number, invoice number, text and the amount that's going to the control account. And likewise the next row is the amount that's going to the control account again but as a credit because you've already again imported your opening balances so the net effect on the control account is nil but this means it will show on your age credit age debtor report so once you're happy with that file you can then go back to import next select your file it will then tell you you've got two supply invoices and two customer invoices select next you then get confirmation that four entries have been imported. You can close down the screen. Now if we go to our suppliers and select counting year 2016, you will see the two supply invoices there. Likewise, if we go to sales, manual customer invoices, 2016, you'll see the two sat there. So they're both there as draft entries. So before you book anything, strongly recommend you go to your report tab and you can pull up your financial statements and we'll go for a trial balance and select the dates. We can then check to make sure that the age creditor and the age debtor report ties in with the balances that we have on our trial balance. So we can go to suppliers, age creditor, enter the date and then include non-booked entries and also show detail. We will then see our two invoices that we've imported sat here totaling to 680.80 which ties in with the trial balance. So you can see the date, the invoice date and then we'll go to customers and do the same, age debtor, so date, include non-booked and show details so it'll pull that information in and we can see the two invoices here totaling 5,400. So you've now imported your opening balances and any outstanding creditor and debtor invoices so when you make the payments or you receive the payments in for your debtors and creditors you have an invoice that you can post against too. All that's left to do now is to go back to your finance and your journal entries and you can then book these and likewise go back to suppliers and you can book those, put a tick in there and it will tick all columns and book selected and go to your sales, manual customer invoices and then do the same. And your financial year for 2016 has now imported the opening balances on your trial balance and your age creditors and age debtors. You can then go to settings, finance and accounting year. You'll see the number of transactions that have been loaded and booked and then all that's left to do is to close that financial year. You don't want to reset the balance sheet. You'll then see a list of all the transactions that you've entered in here. This list here will then show your opening balances. You can go back to your financial year and you'll see it's now closed. If you want to cancel closing, you can. By clicking on this, it will then bring everything back to how it was before you close that financial year. And you'll see you'll now have new transactions for your new financial year, which are your closing balances then becoming your opening balances for your new year.